This is a brief demonstration of creating a custom grade schema in Blackboard Ultra. So here is an example of an Ultra course and I'm going to go to the gradebook and just to make this a little bit easier to track for myself I'm going to go to the grid view of the gradebook and here I have a, an assignment called syllabus confirmation. It's currently set to display the points earned the students and let's say that I want to instead change this to display the word complete or incomplete. And also let's say instead of a percent grade here that I want to show students I want to show them a pass fail. I can do that now by going to the gear icon in the gradebook and clicking on Manage Grade Schemas. And on this page I'll see at first the letter grade schema. Now we have the ability to add additional schemas up to I think 100 schemas of course. So to do that you can click the Add button to create a new schema. I'm going to call this Complete Incomplete. I'll click Add and at first it's going to show me some letter grades and some percent values. I can customize this by clicking on the fields and changing their values and clicking away. And I, I'm going to change the percent values here so anything that's 80 or above will be marked as a complete. Anything under 80 is going to be an incomplete. I'll click Save. And I'll do that for pass fail as well. I'll create this as a pass fail. And I'm going to just change the words. Whoops, I added a row accidentally. And let's say this you have to have an 85% or better to pass. Anything under 85 will be a fail. Alright, so now that I have my schema created, I'm going to exit out of my panel and try applying the schema. So I'm going to click on the assignment that I want to add my complete incomplete schema to. I'll click edit. I'm going to click the gear icon and under grading and submissions, under grade using, change this from points to complete incomplete and click save. And let's see what it does. So I'm just going to refresh my screen here to see what happens. Okay, so now instead of I see instead of seeing numeric values, I see the words complete incomplete. Let's say that the student actually did not complete this. So I just changed the status here to incomplete by changing the number, because remember, anything 80 or above gets marked as complete, anything under 80, which would be a zero, get marked as an incomplete. Okay, let's do the pass-fail assignment to the overall grade column. I'm going to click Edit, and under this page I'll click the drop-down menu to choose how I want grades to be displayed. I'll choose pass-fail. And right now I'm, sh I'm creating a calculation based on the, um, a non-running total. So it's going to be superficially low. I'll click Save. Okay, so see how these two students who have about, uh, this, the student has 100% basically. There's, they earned 1,000 points out of 1,000 points possible so they are marked with a pass. This student here, the second row, the student has about an 86.5 percent in the course. That's 865 out of 1,000 points. That's over 85 percent. That would be a pass. This third student has earned 624 points out of the course. Uh, the, out of the course is 1,000 points, so that's about a 62.4. They mar are marked as a fail. Okay, so that is just the brief rundown of how you can assign these custom schemas that return text values to columns in the Grade Center.